Three, two, one, go. All right, so here's how you make quick, cartoony fingers. Uh, the arm is just a sphere. If you want to see how I made that. The arm is just a sphere that I, a sphere that I sort of just shape and manipulate with the move tool. No symmetry. I kind of bring the shoulders into the body. And then I just sort of shape, shape the arm little by little. So that's pretty much how I make the arms. But for the fingers, uh, when you have a sphere, it's only 6,000. You need to have more geometry than that. So we're gonna voxel remesh. So it's gonna make this number much higher, but the clay is gonna be much more dense. So we go here, voxel. We can remesh about 200. Okay. So now I'll take the inflate tool. Actually, first let's do the flatten tool. So we wanna make the palm area first. So let's say his palm is here. And we'll use the flatten tool and we'll flatten it out. Okay. Try to turn the lights on a bit more. So that's nice and flat. So then we'll smooth it. So now we have the palm, we have the bottom part of the hand. Flatten out a little bit more, like so. And if you're ever doing this, if you voxel remesh and it doesn't, it's not as smooth as you want, you can voxel remesh it again. Maybe bring it a little bit lower, maybe 175 and then smooth it out again. So now that you have the bottom part of the palm, I like to use inflate. So let's say he has four fingers. So I'm just gonna use inflate. I'll show you my, <coughs> excuse me, I'll show you my inflate options. So here, regular dot, alpha is here, normal, fall off, I think this is just default filter and pressure so those are my inflate tool settings so let's say we want three fingers here and maybe the thumb over here so let's do let's do the thumb so I'm just building out in circles to make it kind of like that So the more you inflate, the more it will just come out straight from uh, wherever you're inflating. But just be aware that eventually the material will break. But that's okay because we'll we're going to uh, remesh this again. And just to show you real quick, like if I was to remesh it again at 180, it will solidify that a little bit more. So now we have our palm, we have our thumb. So the three fingers would be here. So we're just gonna use infl inflate again. And I'm just trying to bring these straight out. And if I want them to be a little bit longer, it's okay, like that they're kind of, they look kind of crazy. Actually, I might not have room for all three fingers, but when you smooth them, they're gonna go back in a little bit. So that's why I'm sort of bringing them out so much. This one, I kind of want this finger to kind of curve a little bit more. So as you see, I'm sort of bringing it out, but like over the, over the uh, palm. And if you wanna add a little details, like the little roundness of the, of the palm, you can do that too. So 
to smooth that out a little bit. And you can do a little crease action and just give his thumb a little, a little roundness. Okay, so now what we want to do is remesh this. So I'm going to remesh it at 200. And then I'm just going to smooth. Okay, and these actually look pretty good. And if these weren't really shaping up or looking smooth, I would just remesh again, maybe a little lower, and then I would I would smooth again. And also, if you wanted a little more, if you felt something wasn't big enough, you can just hit inflate. So maybe if I wanted to add a little, a little extra on the thumb, you could add a little extra and then kind of smooth it. And you can also take a drag. With the drag tool, you can sort of shape it as well. So the only other thing that I might do with these fingers is flatten the bottom parts. So let me, let me go ahead and turn this up so you can see it a bit better. So yeah, I might flatten out the bottom parts of the fingers and just make the surface area of the fingers a little more flat. And then, of course, I would just smooth everything again and just keep everything nice and smooth. Okay. And that's pretty much how I would do, like, quick cartoon hands. Of course, just pay attention to the sizes and things like that, but uh, you kind of get the idea. And this was the little guy that I did from the Select Mask tool, but I think I have to make him into a little character now. Oh, let's... let's uh, the arm is a mirror, we'll call it arm. And we will just add a mirror, and now we have it at both sides. Looking good. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, it really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all.